Both of them are very outgoing. I think Chuck is more subtle, you know, when it comes to the outside world. But to us, Chuck is Chuck, you know, and I think that's what we appreciate the most. And that's why, you know, defensive successfully right now, that's why we're doing the things we're doing because of the flexibility he gives us. But Rex is able to the same flexibility, you know. So I, I think both of those guys are very similar. Ray, what did you think when you saw the offense still going after the, the Rams last week in the fourth quarter, even though it was, you know, <clears throat> they were just kept attacking, kept attacking, kept attacking? Yeah, I mean, I don't know no other way to play the game. I mean, you know, you want to run the ball or whatever, you know, but if they're stopping the run, throw it. If you're getting first down, throwing the ball. If you want to kill the clock, kill the clock. You know, that's one way to protect your defense and not get them back on the field. Let's keep making first downs. So I, however you got to do that, get it done. So I don't look at it as being no bad thing at all. Ray, last year you took issue with the amount of hype surrounding the Jets, but that being said, <clears throat> second straight year they made it to the conference championship. Do you still have that mentality that they're a little overhyped for their accomplishments on the field? <laughs> I, I never got into the overhype. I'm just saying, you know, you know, you listen to all these different things that people are saying, and, you know, until you say all of that, you got to really go do something first, you know, and that is, you know, you got to win one before you say all of that. But, you know, that's, that was last year, you know. I, hopefully they don't say nothing this year and we can just play a good, good clean game. Well, Rex did say that uh -oh, when he left. here we go. <laughs> <laughs> he did say that when he left, there was some talk among the players and him about meeting in the AFC Championship game. And he says the Jets have been there two years in a row and they're still waiting for the Ravens to make an appearance. Do you have a response? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, the only response I can ever have for that is he was sitting in the same place I was sitting watching the Super Bowl. <laughs> he had to be because he wasn't in it, you know. So, and that's the only thing you can ever talk about, you know. It, I don't care how far you go, you know, the ultimate goal is to feel that confetti drop. You know, you can ask the Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, they wouldn't be proud to go back to a Super Bowl. You know, the bottom line is you have to win the Super Bowl when you get there. So going to AFC Championships, going to playoffs, I've done all of that. You know, and at the end of the day, the only thing that I remember the most is when I touched that confetti in 2000, and that's what I'm still in the game for. So whether it's them in the way or whoever's in the way, here we go again.